Microsoft Excel is a fantastic program within the Microsoft Office suite. It has basic functions that allow for everyday use, as well as advanced functions to calculate what could be complex formulas and statistics. I'm going to show you just some of the functions that Excel contains. Firstly, we have a ribbon at the top of the sheet. This is like a map that guides us through the various options and functions that Excel has. Each tab is sort of like a heading in a document. When you click on it, it opens up functions that are kind of like subheadings in the document that fall under that specific heading. For example, if you click on the page layout heading, you will see that it has options to add a theme in your document, change the margins, the orientation, the size, and so forth. But these subheadings, just like in a document, have finer points that can be utilized. For example, if you click on the small arrow in the corner of the second box, you will see that it brings up an additional dialog box with even more functions. To show you some basic functions, I've created a sheet called Sales January 2016. You're able to create additional sheets by clicking on this little plus sign. You can also rename your sheets either by right clicking on them and clicking rename, or you can simply double click into the box and rename them as you need. In my worksheet, my company name is called Wags and Winks Pet Store, and I've created a column for each week, as well as the income earned for each week. If I want to find out how much I earned for the month, I would type in a formula to work this out for me. This is a very simple formula called a sum formula. You type in the equal sign, the word sum, and open bracket, and then you select the cells that you want included in the formula. And then it'll fill in the blanks for you and you can close off the bracket. Excel is also very smart and that can sometimes anticipate what you're going to do and help you fill in those blanks. As you can see, it has now calculated the total amount of earnings for January. You may want to perhaps highlight these totals, in which case you can bold it using the Home tab, you can change the color, you may even want to highlight the whole cell, um, and in which case you could pick something like that. Another option you have is to copy figures to a different column and perhaps apply a different formula. A quick way of doing this is to select the cells and press down the Control and the C key on your keyboard. Put the cursor in the cell or column that you wish to copy it to and press down Control v on your keyboard. As you will see, this has now copied all that information from that column into this. There are so many functions in Excel that can make a lot of tasks easier. Try it out for yourself and let the learning begin.